kids. This is a Scion XB vlog. So, well, I didn't sell the motorcycle. I went out and um, met the people, and we agreed on a price. Man, I sold that bike, that bike dirt cheap, and they're getting a fantastic deal. I'm selling for 900 and 900 less than what I'm what I'm asking for. It. Anyways, um, the the nice thing is I get some spending money. You know, it's always good to get spending money. Um, and um, I really didn't want to sell it, but I just need the cash. What I'm gonna do is I'm heading out to California, and then um, when I get there, I gotta do a bunch of shopping. I'm spending a ton of money, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on another um, vacation. Well, <clears throat> um, yeah. So so anyway, we agreed on this price. And this guy brings his mother along because he's actually very young. He's like 18. And um, he doesn't have the cash. He has to bug his mom to to buy the motorcycle for him. And, you know, I, I thought, well, this is not going to happen because the mom's just not going to... Um, the mom had a lot to complain. The mom said, well, the motorcycle is too big it's dangerous on and on and on and on and on all kinds of stuff extra large diet coke with light ice. Okay. Oh no, just make it regular. Sorry. Just regular, yeah. That's fine. Yep. Thank you. So anyway, um yeah, so I think the mom was just knocking it and saying, oh, you know, and it's not good. And and then, um, and and I had it, I had that SV advertised for like um, 3200 And I figured, you know what, I'm leaving on a trip. I could sure use the extra spending money. So I'm going to drop the price to $2,500. Hello, hi. Okay, I'm gonna give you a change. How much is that? 85 cents. Is that 85 really? Sorry. You're going to give me a nickel back, yeah? Or something. Do you need a receipt, sir? Oh, no. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You sure that's right? Is that? A nickel. Oh, I give you how much? A quarter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I get a quarter back? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks. Oh, here you go, sir. One more. Yeah, you gave me, you gave me more. Oh, that's did I? Yeah, you gave me more than 25 Oh, sorry. sorry my math no, no, is bad. bad. Sorry. <laughs> Man, my, 
That's what happens when you're an engineer and you're out of work. You just get rusty. Okay, how's it? Thank Thanks. Can you, can you take this? What's that? Throw it away. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, so the mom was like, um, you know, I thought it was 1900. Like, like I had it advertised for 3,200, and the best offer I got so far was 1,900. And and the mom said, I thought it was 1,900. I don't have that much cash. You know what? This is not what I agreed to. I wouldn't have come out here if if you told me it was 2,500. So they negotiated the price and said, well. Would you take 22? And I said, you know, 23, I think 23 is fair because you're not gonna find a bike, a SV650 for 2,500. I mean, in good shape, running, you know, everything's up to date and there's no, you don't have to do any, really any repairs. And um, you're not gonna find it for that price. And it's below Blue Book. So what do you want? I mean, the tw oh, 2300 I think is fair. Well, can you do like 22? Are you sure you can't do 23? And then, and I said, nah, you know, it's it's all right. Um, that's okay. You know, you can you can wait around for another deal. Um, yeah, you know, if it's just not gonna work for me, and that's okay. Well, how about 22500? No, you know what? 20, 23, I, that's it. I don't want to haggle with you. Okay, well, you know what? What about if I give you like 500 now from the ATM? I said, no, but it's still a, it's still a check. Like, she whips out her checkbook, right? And she says, um, oh, I'm sorry. She whips out her checkbook, and I said, no, I can't, I can't accept the check. And she says, yeah, but this is from a money market. You'll definitely get the money. And I said, yeah, but it's still a check. And my bank is going to put a hold on it. So I can't have that. What we're going to do is if you really want, if you really want to use a check, you can go to your bank, write the check out to yourself, withdraw cash, and give me the cash in the bank. Well, you know, what we can do is we can deposit it in your bank and then we can just take the bike. And I said, no, it's not the same because I need the cash for my trip. So, I mean, you can you can put a deposit, but nah, that's not even going to work. You got to put, you got to put like, I mean, if I, ha if they're going to, if they're going to make me wait, if the bank is going to make me wait, like a holding period for me to cash a check, then there's really no point for me to take the check because I need the money now before I go on my trip. If I go on my trip without the money, I might as well just sell the motorcycle later and get pretty much my asking price. The only reason why it's discounted $900 is because I just need the cash. You know, otherwise, if I'm not going to get the cash, I'll just sell it later. So anyways, man, I, I, um, yeah, they say, well, my flight leaves like 11 o'clock or something. No, no, no. I, it leaves at one. I got to be at the airport at 11. And because, um, I'm going mountain climbing again, I have like over a hundred pounds in luggage. Like I have a lot of gear, like a uh, tent and boots and clothing and you name it so it's heavy and um, you know all this electronic stuff and um, I gotta do a bunch of video and documentation photography so anyways um, uh, I gotta get to I gotta get to the airport early because there was one time I was at the airport they spent one hour inspecting all my luggage because it just looked nefarious. Like I had a lead acid battery with connectors. I mean, it looked like a bomb. And um, um, yeah, they they made me um, cripple 
like cripple the charger like break it actually break it to to show them that it's you know it's nothing's gonna work and um, the battery is not gonna short out I mean it made me tape everything tape up all the terminals disconnect them tape them it was quite messy yeah it was very messy I was very displeased very very displeased so um anyways yeah it took like an hour um and they almost didn't let me through so I, I know I know how long it takes I mean this thing is an ordeal you see the deal is when you go mountain climbing like alpine climbing um, lithium ion batteries die out in in cold weather so like I mean try it you, you know your digital camera the battery put it in the freezer well, it will kill the lithium ion you know in a hurry now what what the freezer will do is it won't it won't harm um, alkaline or NICAD or metal hydride batteries but the cold will kill lithium I don't understand how that works but it does um, and you have to sleep with your battery like you you put it in your pocket in your sleeping bag or you put it on your body when you sleep so you want to keep the battery warm well actually you keep it on your body all the time just keeping that battery warm so that it doesn't drain anyways there's this one time we went up um, to a ridge because I mean there was one time we were at the summit and um, we made a phone call we tried to make a phone call I just didn't have any reception and so we had to we figured you know what we gotta hike up to this ridge or to a ridge and make a call from there to see if we get reception the deal was we were leaving uh, this area and um, we needed to send some guys up like some porters up to help us out and um, what's going on? And and we needed to make a phone call saying, "Hey, help us! Help us carry a lot of this crap down the mountain." This guy's in the way. So, anyways, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so um, so we went up. We went up. I decided, okay, look, let's charge the phone a hundred percent before we make our hike because the cold's gonna kill it so we hike 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 it's about half an hour into the hike and um, we get up to this ridge and there's reception we make a call and the phone says you have five hours of battery power left no you have five minutes you have five minutes of battery power left I mean think about this this is at a hundred percent I mean, granted, the battery might have been shot. It probably was shot, but the cold didn't help. But it was a good thing that um, we charged it before coming down the mountain. It was really a good thing. So anyway, yeah, that's why you need a solar charger, man, when you go alpine climbing. Especially with all those devices.